Hey guys, George at Soundtracks here, and today we're going to talk about the Atherin factory installed decoders, the new ones with LEDs, and what that means to you. Now when Atherin started including LEDs in their models, they actually went to a new circuit board design. Now with the Tsunami 2, we built a board that's pre-regulated for use with LEDs. But one of the other changes we did, started with this SD60E, was actually an 8-function decoder. So your factory installed decoders from Soundtracks that are equipped with the Atherin LED lights are actually 8 functions. Now that means the board layout is a little bit different internally so that you won't be able to necessarily see it outside of the model, but inside the model it's wired up a little differently. Now the FX7 and the FX8 wiring tabs are actually on the front of the decoder. So Atherin has actually wired their ditch lights on this particular model to the FX7 and the FX8 lighting outputs. So now because of this, rather than using CV51 and 52 for your ditch lights to be alternating and flashing, in this case we're actually going to use CVs 55 and 56. Then these are going to be the ones that are going to control the lighting effect when the buttons are on. So on this locomotive here we have our, head, our ditch lights on and when I blow the horn they're going to stay solid and in the on position. But when I go and change CV55 and for LED ditch lights with the crossing logic, we're going to set CV55 to a value of 203 and CV56 to a value of 235. Now when I blow the horn, you're going to see that they alternate and flash. Now the next step of this is function mapping. And function mapping again determines which buttons control the lighting. So for the FX7 and the FX8, these are actually CVs 1.263 and 1.264, and the value of that CV corresponds to the button that controls them. So in this particular case, I've actually set those to a value of 24, so that both lights are controlled with the 24 key. So using my handheld control, I can activate function 24 off or back on, and I'll have independent control of both lights at the same time. Now you can go through the user's guide and see all the other different effects of what you can do with the decoders, including the directionality. So because these are FX7 and 8, they use the extra two bits in CVs 57 and 58 to enable them directionally. So if you wanted these to be disabled in reverse, just subtract 192 from the value that's in CV58 and they will be disabled in reverse. So after having played with that, you see that there's a little bit of difference in how they operate and how they're wired. So for more information, visit our website at Soundtracks.com and look at the Manuals tab and go through and read the user's guide on how to use all of these cool features in the Tsunami 2 decoders. For more questions on how to use the Atherin products, you can contact Atherin Support directly using the email listed below or you can contact our support department at support at soundtracks.com and we'll do our best to help you any way we can.